Hello, my name is Lance Lucero, and I'm Product Manager of Astronomy for Celestron, and I'm here to answer your questions about your gear. Our question today comes from an Instagram follower who reads, if I have an Astromaster 130 EQ, my problem is that I can't achieve focus when the scope is attached to a camera. So what shall I do to achieve focus? And do I need any extra equipment to do that? That's a really good question. And uh, to start out, I want to uh, bring one of the tubes here just so we can look at. This is an Astromaster 130. And uh, the problem that uh, our customer is having is that uh, the eyepiece will reach focus when you drop it in, probably right about there. But when you attach a camera to it, you have to rack the focuser all the way down to the point where it doesn't quite reach focus. And there's a good reason for this. When you look at a DSLR camera, uh, here we have a full frame Nikon, um, what you wanna look for is this particular icon right here. It's a little circle with a line through it. That represents the exact spot on your camera body where your sensor plane is actually sitting. So as you can see, if you look at the distance between this particular mark and this front flange, your camera is actually pretty thick. That means that where your eyepiece would be able to achieve the proper focus, you would need to bring your camera with the T adapter and uh, T ring installed much closer than you normally would and your focuser simply runs out of room. The reason for this is because the Astromaster was really designed to be a uh, camera, that, I mean a, a telescope that was used for visual astronomy, um, although there are ways of making it work and that's what I want to talk to you about today. The first thing that we have um, is a Celestron T adapter Barlow. It is item number 93640. And uh, this is something that we have available uh, online. You can go to our website for further details. And uh, this looks pretty similar to your standard inch and a quarter T adapter, but it does have a Barlow lens built into it at the bottom. And the reason for this is that once you have your tube and you have your Barlow installed, the Barlow actually intercepts the light at the focal plane of the telescope mirror. So you no longer have to worry about bringing the entire camera down. The lens redirects the light so that it actually will hit your camera. So we're gonna take our camera, we're gonna take our T-ring, T-adapter, we're going to thread on the T-ring. Line up the mark. Connect it, and now, with this installed into your focuser and locked down in place, you should actually be able to achieve proper focus. Now again, because it has a Barlow, you do need to understand that this will double the magnification or double the focal length effectively of your telescope. So it will give you a larger image scale, which is really cool when you're taking pictures of the moon, um, or even planets to an extent, um, you want as much focal length as you can possibly get. This is a good way to do that. And again, you've got the high resolution image uh, sensor that you have here. Um, there are a couple of other options though that do not require a DSLR to get some pretty decent pictures. Uh, one of them I might suggest is something like our next image cameras. This is a, uh, a USB camera that plugs into your computer you would take your computer outside or your laptop, and uh, basically you want to put this in place of the eyepiece. Then this will take the image, put it onto your laptop where you're able to either take still images or you can take video and process them into a still image in order to get high resolution images of planets or the moon. Uh, this is a really good option. We have a couple of different types of next image cameras. The one I'm showing here is a next image five, which is a five megapixel. We also have a higher resolution 10 megapixel um, if you so desire to get uh, you know, more, uh, more pixels and uh, therefore better resolution for the camera. Um, this is a really good option. As you can see, it's very similar in design to an eyepiece. So you don't have the problem that you do with a DSLR of having to worry about inward focus travel. 
uh, this will reach focus just like an eyepiece will. The next option we have is the next YZ phone adapter. Now this allows you to use your cell phone to actually shoot an image through the eyepiece of your telescope. And this works with basically any eyepiece that you want to use so that you can adjust the magnification according to what your needs are. So the first thing you do is you start by taking your standard eyepiece, you drop this into the adapter, and then you tighten the little screw mechanism down here that allows you to tighten the clamp so that it doesn't come loose. Insert this into your eyepiece holder, secure using the set screws on the eyepiece. Then take your phone, insert it into the holder, And now, let me show you from the bottom here, you have these knobs here, which allow you to control the X and Y axes uh, so that it makes it a lot easier for you to find adjust the phone's uh, the actual aperture over the exit pupil of the eyepiece. Uh, and this beauty also has a knob right here that allows you to control the up and down so you can find that sweet spot on the exit pupil of whatever eyepiece you're using it. Longer eye relief eyepieces, would require a little bit taller and uh, shorter focal length eyepieces would generally be a little bit closer. So this helps you fine tune and dial it in. And uh, just to give you an example of uh, the type of image, I happen to have this scope out uh, two nights ago and uh, was able to get a shot like this using this exact eyepiece. Um, so that uh, actually allows you to see uh, the type of images that you can get. And this is just uh, you know no zoom just simply using this eyepiece and this phone. So again, there are a couple of good options there for you. Um, I hope that this uh, answers your questions. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, if uh, anyone wants to reach out to Celestron with questions, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, go to our Instagram page and uh, go ahead and message us. Uh, you can also uh, use the hashtag DearCelestron. Uh, clear skies and uh, peace out. Talk to you later.